Me city, baby. Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with episode two of my aground playthrough. And once again, we are going for a full achievement 1000 gamer score playthrough in the game. And so we're gonna jump back in right where we left off and we're getting attacked here. So let's quickly deal with the boar. And so what we're doing right now, this is kind of early game, just kind of going through the steps. The game is laying things out fairly easily. Uh, we're just getting quests, completing them. We'll get a couple achievements along the way. The ultimate goal here is to uh, acquire a companion, a familiar as they're referred to in the game, which is kind of like a pet that follows you around and some of them provide benefits, some of them attack. And the one that we're going for is called the owl, which provides when it's equipped to you, it does attack. But the main thing it does is it provides a zoomed out view of the game. And so you can play with a much more, in my view, tolerable kind of uh, point of view, frame of view for the game. So I am, uh, I am working towards that, but it does take a little bit of a build up to get there. So hopefully we'll accomplish that by the end of this next, of this second episode. Um, and if not, we'll just keep working towards it. We'll pick up some achievements along the way and we'll see where we get. So we are going to uh, talk to the hunter and he wants us to make some fences so we can set up a perimeter. So that's a really easy thing to do. Um, I found the fences and I'll show you how they work here in a second. They don't seem to be very effective. I, I've never like said, oh wow, I put up some fences and now I stopped getting attacked by all these boars. They, they do get annoying constantly having to kind of clean them up and deal with them. Um, but putting up fences doesn't really seem to work. I'm sure if you do it just the right way around a building with nothing in between and no gaps, then maybe you can prevent the, the monsters from spawning. But you do need the resources that they provide anyway. So it's probably best to just let them run rampant, kill them off, acquire the materials that they give you because you need a lot of them throughout the game. So we'll do the quest to, to kind of complete it and advance it but um, it's not something that is gonna really benefit you going forward to build these fences. So we need some wood to complete the quest. And again, I am trying to acquire tree seeds for something that we'll need later. And you can see that uh, every time we're placing buildings here, we're taking up valuable land on this, uh, this starting position. There's another tree seed, I think we're up to three and we're gonna need six of them. So uh, chop down these regular trees early and often, whenever you can, uh, to get wood, which is valuable and, and a very useful resource throughout the playthrough, but also hopefully to uh, clean up and get those tree seeds as well. Okay, I think that will be enough to complete the quest. So let's head back. And on the way, kind of a good habit to get into, whenever you pass the farm, check in and harvest if there's anything ready to harvest. There's not right now, so we'll leave it. But doing that is gonna be much faster than letting the uh, the farmer do it yourself. Oh, and great. So uh, throughout the first episode, if you were watching, we built a storehouse, which is where everything gets kept. And we were getting little pop-up messages. An apple was stolen, a piece of iron was stolen. Well, eventually when you check back in, you catch the thief and you get this little interaction. And so this is kind of our first uh, introduction to there's other survivors and there's other islands. The world is uh, much bigger than we thought. And she wants five gold bars. So we will of course accept and move on. Okay, so we'll enter the storehouse like we were planning to now and we will drop off all our stuff. Yep, up to three tree seeds. And let's go and build ourselves. I think we need the workbench to make a fence. Uh, so two wood for each and we need six. So we need to get 12 wood out of storage. Go. 
Now, I think we actually have to place them. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Do we have to place them, or does he just want me to have them? Oh, there we go. He'll place one. Okay, and I will put one down right next to our our base here. Just it can be a little annoying when they're uh, interrupting you when you're trying to use the the storehouse or whatever. So we will place one on either side there, and hopefully that keeps them out. Okay, so that finished that up. Let's do. We need to get. Uh, dragon blood, and then we need some gold bars. And so let's see, can we make a weapon? Because the uh, the axe, the stone axe that we have, won't cut it for taking out the uh, the worms down below. We could go for the bow. Uh, we'd have to make arrows. I'm not a big fan. Instead, I would rather just get the iron sword. And we can get a buckler going too. So let's try and do that instead. Uh, iron sword takes one iron bar, and I think we might have some in our smelter. No, not yet. Okay, so we're going to need to go back down and get some ore, so let's do that. Uh, our stamina is low, so always check before we go on an expedition. And since it's close enough tonight, we'll get another little uh, scene here. hints of other planets. So, yep, we even go beyond other islands to other uh, planets eventually. All right, we are looking for iron and also gold. And we'll put our torch back on. back to the surface, so we'll head back over. I think we have enough to make what we want. We can make an iron sword out of one, so let's do that. And we can make an iron pick out of the other two. Um, let's do that while we have it. We'll need to be able to get through some harder materials down below the dirt, and this will help us do that. So let's grab that. And then we can go and set that to our mining selection. And I think we want to make some torches as well. Wood and coal. So let's grab that. So we can do it. Um, obviously, he is hitting us much harder than we're hitting him. And we need to crit in order for it to count. But every time he runs away, we can land a crit. So we're still not quite there yet. 
Okay, we get a level up. Oh, and we got the, the kill on the worm, <clears throat> which gave us the level up. So, defeat a worm, achievement, the first time you get one, uh, you get the achievement for that, very straightforward. All right, let's do our level up here. We only get 20 skill points, and we're gonna save them. So you can see the attack really comes into play because if you can't even damage the thing, you're just gonna get destroyed. So we're gonna save up, get one more attack, and it'll help uh, get over some break points for when we're, we're fighting these uh, enemies. But that also gives us dragon blood. And since we're down here, we might as well get a full dig in. And we will not push our luck with another worm just yet, not until we get some better equipment. Okay, Torch just went out. I don't think I made another one. All right, so we'll rest. Make another Torch. And we wanna also make a Buckler. Uh, we'll hold off on that. We do wanna get that Iron Armor to go in though. That'll help reduce the damage. So we need three iron bars. And so here, this stone, we would not be able to get through with that original ax. So that's why we made the iron pickaxe so that we can keep going down to the next level. And there we go, iron armor. And that goes into our character slot here, and that should reduce the damage we take by one. Uh, it's, it's a linear defense is one, so that guy was hitting, the, the worm was hitting us for six. It should now only hit us for five. Um, we don't have anything for headgear at the moment. And okay, so let's see where we are. So now we can turn our uh, dragon blood in. And then the other thing we'll need to do is uh, get some more gold. So let's head over here. We can chop these trees down on the way. We can take these boars out. They should go down much quicker now. So you can see a one shot from a critical hit and now only need two hits for uh, for a direct face-to-face -face attack. So everything you know goes down more quickly here as we're powering ourselves up. We go another tree seed i think that's four so we just need two more and then we won't have to worry about it okay so this is along with getting the owl familiar to improve the view range this is one of the big uh things that you can do to improve your character early and so once again uh standard achievement here complete the laboratory which you get for completing that quest so no sweat on that one and this sets up a laboratory and he wants us to uh, to bring him some materials and he'll mix up a potion. And let's see, so he says to uh, bring him an ax and what else we don't quite know yet. Okay, so instead we can look at the potions here and these potions are great and so he has some temporary buffs right you can use uh the red berries 
to make an attack potion. You can get plus one attack for 30 seconds, which is fine. You can get a defense potion. But what's really good are these, is there, I think, four of them? Yes. So health, stamina, speed, and endurance. And you can see zero out of four, zero out of four, zero out of 200, zero out of 50. These are permanent enhancements to your character. So you can take each one of these health potions gives you plus 10 health. You can take five of them. You have plus 50 health for the rest of the game. Uh, stamina, same. Speed, your speed goes up four points by having these uh, potions. So these are super important. They really, really make your character better. Better endurance, better speed, better health, better stamina. Uh, so get these as absolute early as possible. They will be the focus uh, of what I'm going to do. I'm not going to like stop what I'm doing, but if you're playing the game, stop what you're doing and collect this stuff. And you can see the big ingredient to all of them is the dragon blood. So you need to be taking out the worms, which is tough right now if you don't have um, at least, uh, what is it? I think you need three damage in order to get consistently get through their defense. But you want a whole bunch of these. So dragon blood, you need five for this one. Uh, four here is nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 4, 17. So get yourself 20 dragon blood and then come back and start to get these potions going and your character will be so much better. The speed alone is uh, absolutely worth it. And, and on top of health and everything else is good to have too. So definitely recommend pushing for those um, as early as possible. Okay, so then we also have uh, build the market, so we need some gold bar. So let's focus on that. We'll go down and we'll dig. Um, before we go, can we get our attack up one more? Let's see. Any other tools that will really help us out? I don't think so. The boomerang only does two. Um, it doesn't make sense to make some bow and arrow. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Well, no, it, it, you have to carry them. And I, to me, it's just, it's just not worth it. The arrows, you have to make each arrow, then you have to carry them. They have weight. So you're carrying less other stuff, important stuff every time you go down for an expedition. So yeah, I just, I don't think it's quite worth it. So let's get our torch going. And iron is good, but we're more looking for gold at the moment. And you can see the gold is kind of down right where this stone layer uh, starts to kick in. And I'm going to leave those because we are already low on stamina and I was I don't think we'll make it if I drain the rest of my stamina out here. And while we're here, let's see, we'll take a quick stop in the kitchen. And so here you can see, we, we got this set up earlier, but the food that you make, if you're just eating uh, raw meat, it's plus 10. Just cook that here in the kitchen for nothing. It costs a little bit of fuel. You double its effectiveness. Now you can heal 20 health, which is great. You can make some bread from the wheat, which is auto harvesting out of our field. Bread plus some meat. Now you've got a hamburger plus 60 health, right? And uh, same with... Uh, stamina, right now pie is the best option, 80 stamina. So when you're down, if you're down there digging and you're low on stamina, take uh, I take, like to take one health item and one stamina item. There are some hybrid ones, but I think it's better to just kind of min-max it. So some hamburgers and some pie, maybe three of each. So you're not using up too much weight, but you have some healing and some uh, stamina recovery. So we want the hamburger to not be steak. So let's do, we need six of these. Uh, we have to add some fuel. And when you do that, when you add fuel, the game will recommend 
the most that you need to put in in order to fill it. So it said nine because that would top off the fuel. If I had half fuel, it would recommend four or whatever um, just to, to get back to full again. All right, so we have full bread and now we can make three burgers. And for the pie, we have everything. So let's do one, two, three of those. And we get a nice level, level up here. And I think that's enough points to put one into attack now. Yes, great. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And we've got eight points left. Is that gonna get us anything? Ah, uh, the critical might be worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Help take out these worms since we need so many of them to get to the, to the next thing that we're trying to do. Um, so we'll do that. And I think I have things set to go into, yeah, into the storehouse. So every time I'm making something, and that's a setting that I changed and I don't think I wanted to, um, but everything it gets made now goes into the storehouse, which is fine. You're gonna be spending enough time going back and forth there anyway. All right, everything can go in. And then we wanna get our, oh, the meat. So we don't want meat anymore. So we'll unfavorite that, but we will take the hamburgers and the pie, and we're gonna favorite those again so they don't get shifted over. Okay, and now, so we're rested. We have an extra attack, so now if we see a worm, Every time we hit it, even from the front, if it's not a crit, we should be able to do damage. So we should be in much better shape for dealing with them. And coal is always kind of valuable throughout the game um, because it runs the fuel for those other uh, buildings that are set up. So don't ignore coal. If you're going by it, don't, don't go out of your way to get it, but don't go out of your way to avoid it. It's always good. Uh, to have coal. And here we can see down in this stone layer, we're going to run into uh, golems. So they're kind of the next uh, item or enemy up from the worms, but they don't seem to quite have the defense. Uh, so they're not too bad to take out there. And I missed what the achievement was there. Was it for defeating a golem? Rock Slayer, right. Okay, so let's head back to our expedition here. We are looking for gold. And one thing we'll do quick here is if we go to our food, I'm gonna change up and now hamburger is going to be my up and pie is gonna be my down on the right stick. So I have a quick heal and a quick stamina refresh. Oh, great, okay. So in uh, certain parts of the game, the game is a little bit procedurally generated, right? It's not uh, static maps, but it does have rules just like all other procedurally generated games do. And so on this uh, this starting area, there's a number of these, um, there, there are cave entrances. So if, if you go in here, it will take you somewhere. I'm not sure exactly which one that is, uh, but there are, um, I think three or four on this starting island and there's others throughout the game. So let's do a stamina reboost. Uh, and some of them are really good. So we'll check that one out, but I don't wanna do it when I'm so low on stamina. We'll come down here, I'm trying to get just a little more gold. And this one over here, and then we'll head back up. And I think we should have enough now to complete the quest for our uh, our friend here, the trader. Okay, and it is nighttime and the enemies at nighttime are uh, very tough. You can see there's this cat and a spider and they can start to overwhelm you pretty quickly. So 
avoiding nighttime early on is a good idea. But spiders and cats are very valuable. We need them, uh, their resources, but also them themselves. So we want to be capturing them later on. So we don't want to always avoid them. But for right now, um, they're going to be a bit tough to deal with. Okay, let's drop our inventory. And we'll pick up these items here. And I think we should be able to smelt our gold. Two more bars. <coughs> yep, and that completes our quest. And here we go. So now we get the uh, the traders or the, the shops. There's three shops and I cannot move this. This is a fixed static location that these guys are getting put down in. You can't change it. Um, so I can't slide this left or right. They go here and there's nothing I can do about it. So we will place that, which gives us the market. And, oh great, she gives us a coin purse. So these guys deal in coins. So you can, uh, anything that you're getting, each of these guys has a specialty. Let's actually go over and we can see. And we'll get our other quest while we're here. Okay, if we upgrade the kitchen, we will of course accept that quest. Okay, so now we can come over to the, the traders and let's knock this tree down while we're here. See if we get a seed. Okay, so this first guy is a food seller, the second guy is a weapon, and the third guy is ore. So you can go in and you can see, we can sell the stuff that we have in our storehouse. Diamonds sell for very, very much, 200, but all this stuff can sell or you can come over and buy. Now, right now we don't have any um, gold coins, so we can't purchase uh, anything, but we could sell some excess stuff. That's not really where we are right now. We don't have excess, we're just kind of getting by. Uh, but quickly you will have excess items that you'll want to get rid of. Um, okay, we definitely don't need these chests, so I'll unload that. And now you can see we've got some coins. And then here from the food seller, you can see cotton seeds, wheat seeds. We have wheat already and we have the orchard, um, but cotton is a new material. We could put a cotton field down and I recommend doing so. Cotton is a valuable resource. And he also sells animals, chickens, pigs, and eventually cows. And you need a bunch of these first for your farm to get resources from but also for a late achievement in the game. So whenever you have excess coins, uh, the, the stock kind of refreshes, I think it's daily, give or take. So buy them. And then when you, you stop by the next time, buy them again, because you'll need them. Even if you're not actively putting them in your farm, you want to have them on hand because you need, I think it's 25 of each of the pig, cow and, uh, and chicken for a late achievement in the game. Um, but right now, let's see. So we're not really gonna be using uh, apples. So let's sell a bunch of these. And that puts us in position to buy, can we get, how much is a pig? 75 and 100, okay. We have just enough. Uh, sure, let's get the pig, let's get a chicken. Okay, and We'll rest, and we've got some new quests here. So she wants us to make a minecart and rails. Um, it's a good idea. It quickly loses its kind of value, but early on it can help uh, because you'll see you can unload if you have your cart down there. You can just take your cart down with you, mine to the left, come back, drop your stuff off, mine to the right, come back, drop your stuff off, and do all that without carrying that heavy load. And it lets you kind of do two, three, four runs in the span of one run because you don't have to keep running back to unload. Um, okay, great. So now this guy wants us to capture boars with a net. He'll add a pen for two pigs and eight wood. And we just bought one pig and we definitely have the wood, but now we need to get ourselves a net. Um, and that's one of the things that the, the cotton can help uh, with.
Okay, so here, great example. Every time you're walking by, check in, harvest all these already, unload them, and then we can take them here and drop everything off. Uh, let's see, apples, meat, wood, and shadow fur. Okay, uh, we're low on pie, so let's get a couple more of those. We're burning through stamina pretty quickly at this stage in the game. Uh, cook. And actually, let's do three more because we do go through that very quickly. And actually, let's try this. This is annoying me. So we're gonna pick up the fence. We're gonna pick up the workbench. Let's see if I can set it down here and get it to connect. Yep, there we go. And now let's see if this will work. Yeah, great. Okay, now it's connected to our storehouse. We don't have to keep shuffling materials. And let's do two. to heal, take out the pie, heal with a burger, and we'll make one more. Okay, now we can head back down, and this time if we see any uh, of the worms, we'll take them on. I think we can do some damage to them. Oh, actually, while we're down here, let's do this. We'll try out this cave and see which one it is. Some of these are really dangerous uh, for where we are in the game right now. Oh, okay, this is... So I actually never found this in my first playthrough. Uh, pumpkin seeds. So yeah, uh, throughout my entire first playthrough, I, I knew this existed, but was never able to find it. Um, and I'm worried that guy's probably a little bit too tough for me right now. Yep, 14, big hit. Okay, so that is a little um, pumpkin area, and I think that's the only place that you can find the pumpkins or the pumpkin seeds. So now we can go back and plant a pumpkin patch. Again, not needed for the for any achievements. It's something I completely missed on my first playthrough, uh, but it is down about that height on the first island somewhere. If you look for it, you will be able to find it without too much trouble. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this works. Yeah, so critical hit does two. Regular hit does one. Great. Much better. Much better. And of course, we could make the like the red berry potion and have our attack value up one, and we could be doing even more damage to him if we carried those with us, right? Oh, and there we go. Iron sword and iron armor. 
which we don't need right now, but you can see items do have uh, durability and you can repair them in the game, but sometimes it may make more sense to just uh, replace them. And we'll drop, let's see, we'll take one pie. Okay, and now we're back to not being overburdened. Okay, I think we have enough to make the five steel bars, so let's do that. There's four. automatic upgrade and then before we do that let's head over this way and let's get those pumpkin seeds planted and another level up 42 points we'll definitely do some weight and a stamina Another tree seed. I think we're just one away. Let's see if we can get it here. Okay, no luck on that last seed, but we'll plant our pumpkin. close and now we've got some pumpkins going as well okay so we got the kitchen done uh we need to capture a pig and get some mine carts going and so we'll follow up on all of those i think this is a good place to stop we've made some progress we haven't quite gotten to the the point of getting the owl familiar that's still kind of our near our nearest long-term goal so that will be the continued quest going forward, but we did secure a couple more achievements and we are well on our way to the 1000 gamer score. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.